Math Lesson 3-1 Equal Sharing and Equivalence Remember, you'll need scrap paper and a pencil. Be prepared to pause the video to think, turn and talk to someone, solve a problem, or take notes. Two brothers go to lunch and share three 8-inch pizzas equally. How much pizza does each brother get? Be prepared to share a drawing you could use to solve this problem. Pause the video and solve. So, we want to keep our pictures simple. We want to solve the math and just sketch a picture. My two brothers, my three pizzas. First, I'm going to ask myself, is there enough for each brother to get a whole pizza? Yes, I'll give a whole pizza to each brother. Now, I have one pizza left over. I'm going to cut that pizza in half. Now, I can give each brother a half of the last pizza. So, how much did each brother get? One and a half of the pizzas. One and a half pizzas. One whole and one half. Let's look at another way. This time, let's start out by cutting the pizzas in half and sharing the halves with each brother. So, give a half a pizza and another half of a pizza and another half of a pizza and then to this brother he'll get this half and this half and this half. Now how much did each brother get? One, two, three halves. Three halves, or written as a fraction, three halves of the pizzas. Let's look at it in another way. This time I cut the three pizzas into four equal parts. So each part is a fourth. Now let's share. Get this fourth and he'll get this fourth, and he'll get this fourth, and this fourth. He'll get this fourth, and this fourth. And brother number two is going to get this fourth, and this fourth, this fourth, this fourth, this fourth, and this fourth. Now how much of the pizza did each brother get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the fourths. Six of the fourths. Or written as a fraction, six fourths of the pizzas. So in our three examples, we have the brothers splitting the pizzas and each brother getting one and a half pizzas, three halves of the pizzas, or six fourths of the pizzas. Do the fractions one and a half, three halves, and six fourths all refer to the same whole? Yes, the whole is a pizza. Do one and a half, three halves, and six fourths name the same amount of pizza? Yes. Each pizza was divided into different size parts. Some were larger. Some were smaller, but no matter what size the parts were divided into, the brothers are still sharing three pizzas equally, so they're getting the same amount of pizza. And that means one and a half, three halves, and six fourths are equivalent fractions. I know that because they name the same amount. Six hikers share four pounds of trail mix equally. How many pounds of trail mix does each hiker get? Pause the video and solve. So I'm keeping my sketches simple. These are my four pounds of trail mix, 
and H1, H2. The H is for hiker, so I have hiker 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 here. Now I divided the 4 pounds into 6 equal parts. And since there are six hikers, I divided six equal parts, I'm going to give each hiker one of the six from each pound of trail mix. And I can do this for each hiker. Hiker two will now get one of the six from each of the pounds. So, how much trail mix will each hiker get? One, two, three, four of the sixth. Four sixths. Written as a fraction, four sixths. This time, I divided the pounds evenly so that each group of three hikers are sharing from two pounds. So hiker one, two, and three will share from these two pounds. Hiker four, five, and six will share from these two pounds. I divided each pound into thirds. Now I'm going to share those thirds. So from this pound, Hiker 1 will get a third, Hiker 2 will get a third, and Hiker 3 will get a third. And from this pound, I'll give Hiker 1 a third, Hiker 2 a third, and Hiker 3 will get a third. And I can do the same with Hiker 4, 5, and 6, and these two pounds. So how much did each hiker get? Two thirds, or written as a fraction, two thirds. So now, in our two examples, we have the hikers receiving four-sixths of a pound, and we have the hikers receiving two-thirds of a pound. Do four-sixths and two-thirds refer to the same whole? They do. The whole is one pound of trail mix. Are four sixths and two thirds equivalent fractions? Yes, they are. We divided differently into different size parts, but the hikers are still sharing the four pounds of trail mix equally. So, four sixths and two-thirds are equivalent fractions. Five campers share three yards of blue string equally to make bracelets. How much string does each camper get? Pause the video to solve. So in this example, I drew the three yards of blue string as three rectangles, and I divided them into five equal parts for the five campers. So each of the campers would get three fifths. The yards are divided into fifths. Camper one will get this fifth, this fifth, and this fifth, three fifths. Camper two will get this fifth, this fifth, and this fifth, three fifths. Our one whole is a yard of blue string. Solving it in a different way, this time I divided the three yards into ten equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal parts. So those are tenths. Now each of the campers will get six tenths. This is camper one. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. And the same for each camper. Six tenths. Here is six tenths written as a fraction. Are we talking about the same whole? 
Yes, our hole is one yard of the blue string. Are three fifths and six tenths equivalent fractions? Yes, the sizes of the parts of string are different, but the campers are still sharing three yards of string equally. So three ten three I'm sorry, three fifths and six tenths name the same amount. Today we've been exploring equivalencies by doing equal sharing in different ways. Tomorrow, when you come to class, be ready to solve some problems like this. Thank you.